Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to put, be putting logos on socks using sublimation. So if you like to see that, stay tuned. Okay, so what I'm going to show here now is um, the socks that I'm putting logos on. Uh, this is actually my first time doing logos on socks. Um, and my customer, she's well aware of that and she just not really expecting it to be perfect but so but i'll do the best that i can here and what i'm doing here is sublimation um i use um i have an epson workforce um 7710 that i use to sublimate the prints and this is the logo see some of them are already cut out that i printed out on sublimation paper which is here and then i just cut the images out and place them on the socks and so what i have here what i'm showing is a bootleg sock jig <laughs> they make them but i don't have one so i just made my own out of cardboard paper and and cardboard and then i just put a little bit of uh parchment paper paper on it and taped it with some heat resistant tape so that's just you use what you have until you can get something else. So what I'm gonna do with the sock jig is that I'm gonna put it inside the sock and what it does is that it keeps the sock stretched out so you can get better coverage with your your print when you print the logo on there. And so what I'm gonna do, the logo is goes across the toe. And so I'm just putting the sock on there as straight as I can. I look at the back and try to line the heel up and center it um, here. And it looks great centered. And then I go around the toe and try to make the line as straight as possible because the image is going to go right across the line is what I'm going to do. Uh, the business that I'm doing it for is a brand new business and they do foot care and so they wanted some logos on a sock and so this is the image that I'm putting on there and all I do is put this here I usually I already rolled them with a lint roller to make sure that there was no lint or anything on there um, and then I just try to get the get this lined up as evenly as possible I stretched the sock out a little bit here to try to make sure the line is completely straight and so the image will be straight on there or as straight as possible. I know it's not going to be perfect, but I'll do my best to try to make it look nice. And then I just take a little bit of heat resistant tape this is it right here um heat resistant tape and then i just use it to secure the sock i mean i'm sorry secure the print so that it doesn't move that way i won't have like um any smudging or like a double print or fuzzy uh image and I do that. And then I do that for every sock I'm going to use. I have some socks already here that I've prepped already. That I just have to put the images on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put one more image on. Just so you can see. It's real self-explanatory. But just put the image on. These are cut kind of funny because I printed it. See, when I print, I try to get as many prints as I can on there because you use less paper. If you notice here, these are pretty much lined up even. These wouldn't really fit on there, so I kind of maneuvered them a little bit until I have to cut them out funny, but I don't care as long as it gets on there. And so that was pretty straight as well. These are a little more difficult, but it's better when they're totally square because I can see what it's like on all edges. But I just have to use the bottom as a guide here. And so I'm going to use the heat transfer tape again. And 
and there you go. So what I'm gonna do right now is take um, 35 seconds to press these and I'll be right back to show you what they look like. I have a heat press that I'm gonna press them on at 375 for about 35 minutes, I mean 35 seconds. And it'll be a little hot at first when I when you take them out, but it, they cool off pretty quickly. So, excuse my tripod. Almost 37, 36, 35, and... And so here they are. You can see you can see the image coming through a little bit already on there. So let's peel these and see what they get. Oh, get what what I get? It's a little still a little hot, but we're gonna peel it anyway. And there we go. There's our image on the sock. There. And then all I do is just remove the sock from the sock gig. Kind of straighten it out a bit. And there we go. We have, is there a better way to see it? have two logos on the socks and then the way I package them they don't come like this but I just bought these bags off of Amazon they come like um 200 of them for like ten dollars I'm gonna see if I can find a different one next time maybe something a little slimmer for the next time I do these and I just make them look as presentable as far as possible I may have to go back and play with it a little bit off camera but then I just put them in the bag and then this bag is resealable. Yeah, I'm gonna straighten it out a little bit off camera. I always have to play with the socks to get them looking presentable. Then I just seal the bag and there she has socks that she can give to her patients, her clients that she see when she does their feet. Uh, and that's it. If you have any questions about that, any comments, any concerns or anything, not really concerns, but any questions about it, or you have any suggestions of any other videos you like to, might like me to do, please leave a comment. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Next, I will be sublimating the nine mugs that I need to do. I have like, I think I'm about 15 more pair of these socks to do. I had like uh, 30 to do. And I've done about 15 pairs. So, thank you for watching. God bless.